Hello everyone and welcome to the online quiz. Brought to you by the authors and illustrators of Quizzle, children's writers and illustrators for stories and literacy. And your quiz compare will be me, Mo O'Hara. Now, about the quiz. There are three rounds of 10 questions. You'll need a piece of paper and something to record your answers. In between rounds, there are Quizzle author writing tips. Please feel free to stop the video in between rounds if you want to stop and check your answers. Round one, myths and fairy tales. Questions one to five asked by Quizzle author, me, Mo O'Hara. Hi, I'm Mo O'Hara, and I'm gonna read you the questions for the chapter on myths and fairy tales. So, are you ready? Oh, and uh, my cat Echo is here along for the ride too. She might be crashing the party. So number one, myths and fairy tales. What was the nationality of the Brothers Grimm? Was it A, Dutch, B, Norwegian, C, Belgian, D, Danish, or E, German? Number two, <clears throat> to whom was Lady Guinevere married? Was it A, Sir Lancelot, B, King Arthur, C, Uther Pendragon, D, Sir Hector, or E, Sir Galahad? Number three, what was the first of the 12 labors of Hercules? Was it A, slay the Nemean lion, B, slay the nine-headed Lyrian hydra, C, clean the Aegean stables in a day, D, capture and bring back Cerberus, or E, capture the Cretan bull. Number four. On which Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale was the film Frozen based? Is it A, the Ice Queen, B, the Winter Queen, C, the Snow Queen, D, the Frozen Queen, or E, the Cold Queen? Number five. In the Norse myths, which plant d does Loki use to kill Baldur? Is it A, Holly, B, Deadly Nightshade, C, Ivy, D, Bindweed, or E, Mistletoe? Questions 6 to 10, asked by Quizzle author Jackie Marchant. Question 6. In which fairy tale does the king ask his bride to spin straw into gold? Was it A, Aladdin? B. Bluebeard C. Sleeping Beauty D. Rumpelstiltskin or E. Cinderella Question 7 In the ancient time of myth and later in the Roman period what was England called? Was it A. White B. Great Anglia C. Albion D, the Endland, or E, Wessex? Question 8. Where was Aladdin born? Was it A, Syria, B, Turkey, C, China, D, Japan, or E, Egypt? Question 9. Baba Yaga the witch in the Russian fairy tale had a house in the forest which travelled on... Was it A. Wheels? B. Stilts? C. Human feet? D. Chicken legs? Or E. Seven league boots? Question 10. Who was the god or goddess of the underworld and afterlife in Egyptian mythology? Was it A. Anubis, B. Osiris, C. Horus, D. Ra, or E. Set. Right, let's go through the answers for myths and fairy tales. Number one, what was the nationality of the Brothers Grimm? Answer E. German. Number two, to whom was Lady Guinevere married? Answer B. 
King Arthur. Number three, what was the first of the 12 labors of Hercules? Answer A, slay the Nemean lion. Number four, on which Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale is the film Frozen based? Answer C, the Snow Queen. Number five, in the Norse myths, with which plant does Loki kill Balder? Answer E, mistletoe. Number six, in which fairy tale does the king ask his bride to spin straw into gold? Answer D, Rumpelstiltskin. Number seven, in the ancient time of myth and later in the Roman period, what was England called? Answer C, Albion. Number eight, where was Aladdin born? Answer C, China. Number nine, Baba Yaga, the witch in the Russian fairy tale, had a house in the forest which traveled on, answer D, chicken legs. Number 10, who was the god or goddess of the underworld and afterlife in Egyptian mythology? Answer B, Osiris. Top writing tip from Quizzle author Ali Sherrick. My writing tip for you is to know your hero's heart's desire. What is the one thing that they want most in the world and which is going to power them through their story? And I'll give you some examples from books that I've really loved reading and one of my own too. Now, here's the first one. This is Ella on the Outside by Kath Howe. And Ella is the hero in the story. Her heart's desire is to see her dad again, but it's not so easy as you'll see when you start reading the book. Um, and she's practicing baking cakes so that she can take a special one to him when she can finally get to see him. In the next book, Agent Moose, which is by Mo O'Hara and illustrated by Jess Bradley. Um, agent Moose, his heart's desire is to be the best agent in Woodland HQ and also to outdo his arch rival, Camo Chameleon. Okay, so that's Agent Moose. And then in my story, Black Powder, my hero, Tom Garnet, his heart's desire is to save his father from the hangman's noose. Round two, book to film. Questions one to five, asked by Quizzle author, Karen Owen. Question one. In Beauty and the Beast, the Beast's servants have been transformed into objects. Mrs Potts is a teapot. What are Lumiere and Cogsworth? A. A torch and a pocket watch. B. A candelabra and a clock. C. A lamp and a ladle. D. A rose and a ring. Or E. A book and a bell. Question 2. In How to Train Your Dragon, what colour is a baby zippleback? Is it A. Green B. Red C. Blue D. Purple or E. Pink Question 3. What is the correct order of the Weasley kids in order of age, from youngest to oldest? Is it A, Ginny, Ron, George, Fred, Percy, Charlie and Bill? B, Charlie, Ginny, Fred, Bill, George, Ron and Percy? C. Ron, Ginny, Fred, George, Charlie, Bill and Percy. D. George, Fred, Ginny, Ron, Charlie, Percy, Bill. Or E. Bill, Charlie, Percy, Fred, George, Ron and Ginny. Question four. In Mary Poppins, what is Mary carrying when she first arrives? Is it A, a cat and a hat? 
B, a carpet bag and an umbrella. C, a cloak and a book of spells. D, a backpack and parrot. Or E, a spoonful of sugar and a kite. Question five. In Matilda, what is the name of the head teacher? Is it A, Miss Trunchbull? B, Miss Nosetweak? C, Miss Arm Twister? D, Mr. Hairpull? Or E, Mr. Earflick? Questions 6 to 10, asked by Quizzle author Margaret Bateson Hill. So here are questions 6 to 10 of Book to Film. Question 6. What is Katniss Everdeen's weapon of choice? A. A sword. B. Catapult. C. Rifle. D. Bow and arrow. E. Poison. Question 7. What two-letter word completes the titles to all these books? The books are all sequels to a very famous film. The Lost Princess of hmm? The Magic of hmm? The Tin Woodman of hmm? Question 8. Which member of film royalty did not appear in the original book? A. Lord Voldemort in Harry Potter B. Queen of Hearts in Alice in Wonderland C. Count Olaf in Frozen D. King Louis in The Jungle Book or E. Prince Caspian in The Chronicles of Narnia Question 9 Whose adventure begins five stops on the Metropolitan Line from the station where the Hogwarts Express leaves. And question 10. Which fictional girl has survived threats of beheading in over 40 different adaptations since 1903? Now let's have the answers from books to film. Number one. In Beauty and the Beast, the Beast's servants have been transformed into objects. Mrs. Potts is a teapot. What are Lumiere and Cogsworth? Answer B, a candelabra and a clock. Number two, in How to Train Your Dragon, what color is a baby zippelback? Answer A, green. Number three, what's the correct order of the Weasley kids in order of age, from youngest to oldest? Answer A, Ginny, Ron, George, Fred, Percy, Charlie, Bill. Number four. In Mary Poppins, what is Mary carrying when she arrives? Answer B. A carpet bag and an umbrella. Number five. In Matilda, what is the name of the head teacher? Answer A. Miss Trunchbull. Number six. What is Katniss Everdeen's weapon of choice? Answer D bow and arrow. Number seven. What two-letter word completes the titles to all of these books? The books are all sequels to a very famous film. Answer, Oz. Number eight. Which member of film royalty did not appear in the original book? Answer D, King Louis in The Jungle Book. Number nine. Whose adventure begins five stops on the Metropolitan Line from the station where the Hogwarts Express leaves? Answer, Paddington's. Number 10. Which fictional girl has survived threats of beheading in over 40 different adaptions since 1903? Answer, Alice in Wonderland. Another top writing tip, this one from Quizzle author Kath Howe. I start off with a picture. This one is of a boy sitting at a piano and the whole image is in grey. There's a cat watching the boy play. It's by an illustrator called Dave Gray and this picture really inspired me to start thinking about my story. Then I start cutting out pictures from all over the place. I might take them from magazines, I might find them on the, online. 
What I'm really looking for is pictures of characters, places that are going to be in the story, anything that inspires me and gives me ideas. This all comes together into a mood board. This is where all the pictures are all together on the board. I can stare at them while I'm working and they give me ideas. They make me think inside the heads of the characters and make me wonder about their lives. Here you see the boy I chose as the central character in my story. He's a boy called Lucas. And he's running towards the camera. I often spent time staring at his face and wondering about his life. And a second top writing tip. This one from Patricia Elliott, author of the Connie Carew Mysteries, The House of Eyes and the Ship of Spectres. Discovering your story. My advice is to make the plot as simple as you can when you begin. Stories always get more complicated as you write on. There are really only three questions you need to ask yourself at this stage. Who, who is your main character, the hero of the story? What does he or she want? You could send them on a quest, for example. They need to have a goal to achieve, something that really matters to them. And what or who is going to stop them? It could be a situation, an event, or a person. This will create the tension in your story. Round three. Magic, Mystery, and Mayhem. Questions 1 to 5 asked by Quizzle author Ali Sherrick. Question 1. What type of hat is Sherlock Holmes famously associated with? A. A bowler hat. B. A trilby. C. A deer stalker. D. A fedora. Or E a top hat. Question two. In David Williams' Gangster Granny, what food does Ben try to flick out of the window and end up licking off the glass? A. A rotten tomato. B. An apple with a maggot in it. C. A boiled egg. D. A piece of mouldy cheese. E a half-eaten chocolate bar. Question three. If you were dressing up as Daisy or Hazel from Ma Murder Most Unladylike, what would you not wear or carry? A, a Detective Society badge. B, a magnifying glass. C, a Deep Dean school crest. D, a school tie. Or E, a prefect badge. Question four. In Candy Gourlay's book, Shine, what item of clothing does the main character wear to hide the mark of the calm? A, a headband. B, bracelets. C, purple boots. D, star-shaped earrings. Or E, a scarf. Question five. What is the start of the inscription on the one ring in the Lord of the Rings? A. One ring to rule them all. B. One ring to bring them in. C. One ring rule the world. D. One ring make the peace. Or E. One ring to own the earth. Questions 6 to 10, asked by Quizzle author Christian Darkin. Here are questions 6 to 10 of Magic, Mystery and Mayhem. Question 6. In a series of unfortunate incidents, what is the surname of Violet, Klaus and Sum? Is it A. Bachelor? Is it B. Beaufort? Is it C. Baskerville? D. Baudelaire? Or E. Belangerie? Question seven. In The Amulets of Summerkant by Jonathan Stroud, a magician's young apprentice, Nathaniel, summons an irascible 5,000-year-old genie to do his bidding. But what's the genie's name? Is it A. Bartimaeus? B. Tolomius? Is it C. Solomus? Is it D. Cholerus? Or E. Pompeius? Question eight. In the Black Panther comic books, 
What is the name of the fictional African country where Black Panther is king? Is it A, Waloma? B, Wakanda? Is it C, Kanaba? D, Tanasi? Or E, Chakra? Question nine. What is the name of the series of more than a hundred books, including Ferno the Fire Dragon, Sepron the Sea Serpent, Nanak the Snow Monster? What is the name of the series of a hundred books? Is it A, Creature Quest? B, Beast Quest? Is it C, Battles and Beasts? Or D, Beast Warrior? Or is it E, Hero Quest? Finally, question 10. In Peter Pan, Captain Hook is pursued by a monstrous what? Is it A, alligator? Uh, B, sea snake? Is it C, a shark? D, a crocodile? Or E, a white whale? Here are the answers for magic, mystery, and mayhem. Number one. What type of hat is Sherlock Holmes famously associated with? Answer C, a deerstalker. Number two, in David Walliams' Gangster Granny, what food does Ben try to flick out of the window and end up licking off the glass? Answer C, a boiled egg. Number three, if you were dressing up as Daisy or Hazel from Murder Most Unladylike, what would you not wear or carry? Answer E, a prefect badge. Number four, in Candy Gourlay's book Shine, what item of clothing does the main character wear to hide the mark of the calm? Answer E, a scarf. Question five, what is the start of the inscription in the one ring in the Lord of the Rings? Answer A, one ring to rule them all. Number six, in a series of unfortunate events, what is the surname of Violet, Klaus, and Sunny? Answer D, Baudelaire. Number seven. In The Amulet of Samarkand by Jonathan Stroud, a magician's young apprentice, Nathaniel, summons the irascible 5,000-year-old genie to do his bidding. The genie's name is A, Bartimaeus. Number eight. In the Black Panther comic books, what is the name of the fictional African country where Black Panther is king? Answer B, Wakanda. Number nine. What is the name of the series with more than a hundred books, including Ferno the Fire Dragon, Sepron the Sea Serpent, Nanook the Snow Monster? Answer B, Beast Quest. Number 10. In Peter Pan, Captain Hook is pursued by a monstrous... Answer D, Crocodile. And now for a final top writing tip from Quizzle author Margaret Bateson Hill. So here's my writing tip for you. Make sure that you use all your senses in your writing. Not just what you can see and hear, but what you can smell and taste and touch. And use your senses to create atmosphere, tension, and especially emotion. And if you want a superb example of how this is done, I'd like to recommend my fellow Quizzle author, Beverly Birch's Song Beneath the Tides. Now, I've never been on a beach in Kenya or walked in its forests in real life, but reading this, I saw, heard, smelt and touched them as I was transported to the forest and the beach, to Shanza, and of course, experienced the mystery of Kasiri. So that is the end of the quiz. Here's a point where you can pause the video if you want to tally up your results and see how you did. Did you learn anything new? Want to reread an old favorite book? Or are you inspired to read something new? Either way, we hope that you had fun for this Quizzle quiz. And from all the authors and illustrators in Quizzle, happy reading. <laughs>